ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we're actually just gonna go on a fun ride back behind the house. We got the new 2023 Outlander out. This thing is badass. You guys will see it in a second. We got the recon out. Bree, come here. Bree's riding today. I'll make you go through the pond. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. A little nervous? Yeah. And what about the swamp? <laughs> Think you can make it? I might drown. You got racing slicks on it. <laughs> Let her test the waters with the mud, but uh, it should be fun. It's going to be dark in like an hour, hour and a half, so we're just going to go out, have a little fun rip. Figured we'd throw on the cameras for you guys. I got some stuff I want to talk to you guys about. Merchandise being a big one, and uh, for y'all's information, the merch drop ends July 4th. Now, everything on the website to July 4th will probably be pre sale so shipping times might be a little bit later than normal, but you guys absolutely destroyed what we had in stock. Let's go ahead and slap on the helmets, and let's go on a ride. Let's hope these things start. That one for sure will. This one? Oh yeah. You might, you're gonna have to get used to it. Can we ride around a little bit? Yeah. Bree has never put a foiler in water, so that's a good one to try it on. Throw this thing in sport mode. So I'll actually be getting this foiler tuned tomorrow, which is gonna be super sick. You guys will be seeing that very soon. But we gotta see if we can't get this thing up to 100 miles an hour. That's the goal on this. And I'm hoping we'll get it to there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't shift. But right now she's topping out at 79. And that's, that's not okay. What is she doing? I couldn't shift it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's pop a wheelie. I gotta get my hand drags in. Oh, there it is. So like I said, we're getting this thing tuned tomorrow and then we can actually start on the build, which is gonna be super sweet. This is gonna be one badass mud bike when we're done with it. We also gotta come back here and build a freaking track, man. We're for sure gonna build us a uh, four-wheeler track because the pit bike track, it ain't cutting it, man. But we do get a lot of air. Oh, shit. Shoo wait. this is a lot of bike. Like, I don't even have to be in the throttle. We just clear the crap out of that. We honestly need big jumps for these four-wheelers. That would be a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, is she gonna hit it? No, no. One more time, I have to let Bree hop on this. Big air. Woo! Is she gonna hit it this time? Let's see, let's see, let's see. No. You had more balls on the little four, the little blue four-wheeler. It's so scary. I feel like I'm gonna nail this thing. What's the swamp looking like? Dude, it is full of water. No one's been in the swamp in so long. I can't wait to turn this thing into a mud quad. Then we're really gonna be able to rip it. This thing got reversed. Don't even worry about it. Here, hop on this one. Uh, eco mode. Eco mode. That's a lot of four-wheeler. Be careful. Where are we going? I'm going in the swamp. On the recon. <laughs> yep. We're not making it very far. And it cut off. We gotta get mud tires on this thing so bad. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, this is not gonna work. Dude, what is your problem? I just need to turn left and I might be able to get out. Two wheel drive is not the move. That's the only problem with the recons. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my croc. Come on, dude. Woo! Is the exhaust under? Oh shit, it is. Come on, baby! Just digging my hole deeper. Yep, I can't step off of it without losing my shoes. Come in here! I don't think this is a good idea. You got it! Hope the bumper's low enough so it hits this one. You want me to go in it? Yeah, just come on. That's the first time that bike's seen mud or water. My socks are on. Keep coming. All right, push me. Hold on, I gotta turn this way. It cut off. I'm gonna have to take the Crocs off. This isn't working. Maybe this thing would do better in the pot. Oh, it is slimy. Definitely gonna step on a snapping turtle. 100%. See if I can pick up this front. Ah! What are you doing? My sock got wet. Yep. This thing's heavy. In the mud anyway. Oh, yep, I'm getting out. What did I step on? Not a fan of that. Get my Crocs back on. Push me. Okay. Hold on. That, that, there went the headlight. Back up. Here, let me on that one. What? You gotta get on this one. You're joking. You want me to get on that thing? Yeah. Oh, you got it. All right, let's see here. Oh, we're spinning all fours on this. I got to get my angle right, dude. Without getting stuck, there's a fat ledge right here. There we go. Oh, I'm on top of her. Oh, we got to put her back in sport. do that here take your socks i'm sending it there we go this is what a fuller is supposed to do right here straight from the factory Woo! yes sir Woo oh man we got to give her a bath now that was getting deep luckily we can't sink it right there i'm really surprised like it doesn't turn better like i think a tune which we're getting tomorrow is gonna help a lot i'm gonna throw it back in low and see what it does 
Oh yeah, that's a lot, lot faster tires turning. Dude, I can't wait to get snorkels on it. Snorkels are gonna be so much fun. Snorkels are coming very soon. I miss mudding, dude. Foilers are so pointless if they're not in the mud. Dude, that's getting deep. That's getting deep right there. Just digging it out. One more, one more pass. I can't help it. The whole swamp's basically too deep except right there. Woo! That is a lot of four-wheeler. <laughs> What's going on? Did I break it already? Did I break a front axle? I broke something. No. Dude, what is that sound? It was real bad a second ago. That was front diff. We blow it up, oh well. I know the camera had to pick up that sound. That sound was awful, bro. Somebody tell me what that was in the comments. It sounded like it was from the front, so it wasn't the shifter being knocked out. That's so weird. Oh. <laughs> that is one badass bike. It just soaks it up, dude. And he's gone. Woo! Woo! That's fun, man. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> Let's get a little speed run going, baby. 64, 65, 66. Oh my gosh, we about hit a bird. 75, 76, 77, 78. Woo! -wee! Oh, this thing's gonna be too much fun. When we get it ready for the mud. This bike right here, this one's gonna be my baby, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm gonna take care of this one. I really like it. We're not gonna blow it up. I hope not. <laughs> Hopefully not sink it. The last one I said it was gonna be the send unit and it just broke way too fast. Bree's still back at the compound. We gotta go to the pond. We gotta put that little recon in the water. Bree's never took in a four wheeler in the mud. Ah, she, she said she's been in mud. Probably not serious mud. So we're gonna let her take that through the uh, pond. Hope she doesn't sink it. There's a pretty good chance. Oh, is she clearing the jump now? She's sending it. That is such a straight up jump, dude. Oh, she's ripping. Woo! <laughs> oh, we blew her out in that turn. Oh yeah. Oh, did I actually get it with roost? Did I roost you? Yeah, what gear am I supposed to jump? I have no clue. Let me jump it. I'll, I'll find out real quick. Back in eco. Let's see how we're supposed to jump this little thing. Could be interesting, might not be. I've jumped it before. Yeah, no. But after coming off the uh, big boiler, there's second. Almost cleared it. I have to move it up to third. First, second. We're gonna bang second coming out. Third. We still, I mean, I let off the throttle a lot. Oh. Pick it up a little bit more in third. Woo! I'm so scared. This throttle's so touchy. Here we go, here we go. Woohoo! I almost think the TRX is as funner than the recon. As long as you're not mudded. But it's for jumping and stuff. The recon, send it. Yeah! Let's watch Bree. Oh, she's getting a little bit of air. She's getting that baby air. Send it. But yeah, guys, I just thought we'd come out and ride for a little bit and have a little fun evening riding. Yeah. Throttle. She needs to throttle right before it. Why am I letting her do this on that four-wheeler? There's some rumors going around that PE gave me that four-wheeler. I can pull the 16 something thousand dollar bank statement. <laughs> that thing is nuts. Send it. Throttle. I mean, she's getting over it. Like she's getting air. Little bit of throttle right here. Hit it. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. That, that did it. That thing's so sweet to jump, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's not even hitting the throttle coming off the lip. She's just straight soaking it up and landing her exactly how you'd want to. That's a good jump, man. It's a little short, especially on that thing. Oh, my gosh. Stop looking back at me. You're going to run into the damn tire. Let me make up. One more. No. <laughs> she said, now I'm scared. She over jumped it. She landed like right out there. Coming up short. Little bit faster. I almost came off the front. I know. Just hold yourself in place. Should we just go ahead and buy Bria 1000? Like, dude, she's handling one of the baddest 1000 bikes you can buy. She's even freaking jumping it. 
<laughs> this jump is bigger off camera. It's so funny. We've had people come out that watch the videos and ride here before, and they're like, dude, we had no clue. Uh, it's not no great big jump. Especially when you don't clear it. <laughs> but, uh, it's a safe jump, but it's not like extreme. Follow me. Let's go to the pond. Well, I got to wash off in the pond. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can wheelie this bike. I don't know why I forgot that. It's not really something I should have forgot. Hopefully I do not sink this thing in the pond. I want to make Bree take this through it. I think it would be hilarious. And it'd be good training. Because this bike, it really is not the best for beginners, but Bree catches on really fast. So I'm going to have her squeeze the rear brake. And what I mean by this not the best for beginners is it has a little bit of a pull and it likes to cut off. And when you're going through water, you have to move slow enough on a floaty machine like this that it doesn't come up, flip, roll, or whatever. So you got to really play that brake and hold the throttle basically drag your rear brakes i'm going in i don't know how this thing's gonna do i have no clue oh yeah what the hell is going on my ass is floating how does he expect me to get him out Let's see if i can sink the rear end it is not going this is a disaster yep we're not letting Bree do this one <laughs> the rear tires aren't on the ground oh we're moving now dude this is deep you gotta have some balance to do this son i've been seeing so many people like build these tall snorkels like i did for the honda 300 in the pool like a 10 foot tall snorkel and every time they go in the water and it immediately rolls no one ever calculates for how floaty these things are and so you have to put a lot of weight on it and you're not not only calculating the weight of the bike or like how floaty the bike is but also your human body because like I'll, I'll float in a pool like a bobber dude i know some people sink but i float oh i'm moving now i'm riding a little bit of a wheelie oh shit this is what i was talking about drag those brakes but now my ass is trying to come back up see i'm my ass is floating this is bad this thing has never seen water i really wanted to take it in the pond today because we have not done that yet you're on this Oh, dude, we're turning. This is about to get real bad. Why is it smoking so bad? I know there's giant snapping turtles in here. And the fact that I'm about to get off and walk out of here, I'm kind of like, damn it, dude. Normally, I'm in waders and I don't much care. And, and why ain't it floating like it was from the get-go? Am I stuck? Why did I bury myself or something? It looks like it's struggling. At least we know it's watertight. Yeah, there we go. I just had to really walk it from side to side. Just bounce it left and right to get it to move. Oh, what the hell just ran in? Something ran into me, dude. Now I'm getting nervous. I'm glad we ain't got gators in North Carolina, at least my parts. I can't get off of it. I'll never get back on it. We're just going to send it. This first gear locked. Yeah, we are not moving, cuz oh. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, here we go. We're going to roll it. Free. I'm stuck. How do I help? You come in. Come take a swim. Take a dip. Come give old BP a push. I don't want fish in my pants. Oh, shit. Yep, we were on a stump. I just got over it. Now we're floating again, and I'm in the damn middle of this thing. Come on, baby. Oh, it's getting deep. It is really deep. Oh, I'm sitting on the rear rack, and it is not going down. I'm first gear tapped. There we go. The end of the recon. It is coming very soon. Mud tires is my next investment for this thing. What else am I hung on? This is ridiculous! All right, we gotta get out of here before this thing checks out. Should we make Bree do it? Aw, oh, dude, I'm gonna have to unsink this bike. I guarantee it. But if she could get in here and hold on to it, bro, I would be so tickled. Oh my gosh. You really gotta know what you're doing when you're doing this stuff right here. I've never claimed to be a professional, but I've been in a lot of water. Maybe if I paddle. Oh, dude, I think it's working. You really gotta throw it to the side you want to go and then bring it back all right straighten up girl kind of like a jet ski if you want to turn you got to lean because my tires are barely on the ground oh there it is Ooh, ooh, oh yeah yeah back at it oh we got it dude just float it on up and out yeah baby that was ridiculous i don't know if you should do that one chief let me go through this part right here it's very off cambered so here's the thing when you're in the throttle it sinks your rear wheels down so your front end will start to come up this thing's got it's floating the rear so you have to stay in the throttle the entire time okay but what if it starts coming too far up and you can't let off the throttle because it might cut off i pulled the brake so really i'm sitting here i'm riding these brakes just wearing them out and you gotta stay in the throttle or this one's gonna cut off if i sink it will you be mad at me i don't know girl we gonna find the heck out is it deep right there let me go through it yeah okay you got to follow my tracks Woo! pollen on that dude we'll just go hard left but she can turn and get out going into the middle of the pond it's very easy to do so because this pond is such a bowl i don't know about that one you got it you signed up for it now what if i flip off the side just don't drown i'd be more mad if you drowned it i don't think this is a good idea why you were so un sideways use your brake use your weight you gotta make the foiler do what you want to do keep your weight where you need it she's gonna think it <laughs> hey what did you say something bad no can you go over there and coach me coach you may at least move over there 
The money shot. Lean left. Left. Left rear. <laughs> there you go. You want to do it again? Ah. Let's see it. That bike is so floaty. Up oh, here we go. She's gone. She's a goner. Up, oh, she got it. <laughs> you want to try going out into the pond? I don't want to sink it. Look, look, if you can make it in and out, you're probably gonna never sink a four wheeler. This is the hardest four wheeler to ride in water with how floaty it is. Okay, but it took you 30 minutes to go through that, and you're a pro. Uh, I ain't a pro, but it did, did damn sure did took a while. Okay, but I'm a noob. I'll come and get you out. I'll walk in there and pull you out. But like, you gotta really use your body to throw it where you want it. You're probably not gonna have a whole lot of control if I'm being honest. But let's see what happens. No, I'm scared. You got it. It's not deep. This is not a good idea. It's gonna end bad, but <laughs> it'll be fun. Brandon, I'm, I'm actually scared. I'll walk you in. Oh, she's leaving me. Ah! Get your weight back. I'm holding you down back here. You have to give it more throttle. Let off the brakes, give it throttle. I'm gonna let her kind of just do her thing and just kind of got it. Throttle down and put your weight as far back as you can get it. I'm not holding on to you. <laughs> I'm sitting on the back. If I can get her ass back now, maybe she can control it. Oh shit, oh shit. She ain't got enough weight to keep it down. I need out of here. Well, you're doing it all by yourself. <laughs> For one second. I'm gonna let go. Get that ass down. There you go. This is a good training if you get on a big four wheeler. I'm gonna try to let her do her thing. Get your weight back. Oh shit. I got fishing line all wrapped around me. This ain't good. Right in. Stay in the throttle. You're good. Stay in the throttle. Stay in the throttle. Stay in the throttle. All right, give me the bike. I got it. Ah! Woo! Yeah, baby. We saved it. That was close. It took water on. That was so scary. You got to get back on it, Bree. I'm on it. Get your weight back. Get on the brakes. Take the throttle. All right, I'm throwing my weight back. Take it over. Take it over. Woo! I got it. I got it. I can't stay on it. Shit. Come on. This thing took on water. That's so funny. Can we get out of here? Get on it. You got to drive it out. I ain't driving it out. You got it? Taking control? <laughs> Hurry! All right, go. Get off. Get off. Get off. Look like how floaty this thing is. Dang it. We're so close. I'm going to try to start it. Put it in neutral. We got it. It's running. All right, hop back on it. You got it. You can drive it out. That's what you don't want to happen. Is it cut off? Yep. This foiler, you literally have to keep it running. It's just something else to worry about when you're in a mud hole, but most crappy bikes are that way. So uh, it's good for her to learn. She would have snuck it all over the place if I wasn't helping. <laughs> At least it's clean now. That was hard. That's the hardest one to do it on right there. I used to think it was a walk in the park. Like this four wheeler, once I turn into a mud bike, I mean, it'll float in the front and it can float in situations, but nine times out of 10, I mean, you ain't got to control the bike left and right too terribly hard. You do, but not like that. That's back and forth, back and forth. This kind of like back and forth, back and forth. Is it because it weighs? so less yeah that's why that one's floating because it weighs so little so did i sink it yeah you sunk it no i'm just playing it's good you did get some water in the snorkel because you were coming off of it i know i couldn't keep my weight on it you ain't got enough weight to keep that one down every time you'd say sit back i was literally like this and nothing was happening you gotta get on the throttle and throw it down we could let some air out of the tires there's got to be a better way like a lot of people take these spikes right here these heavy bikes and put helium into the tires so they float better in the water but i don't like it being floaty unless it's really deep then you almost need it to save it all right that's enough pond for me i have to go find my socks where are they in there no way i'm just kidding they're back there the compound let's go get your socks throw this thing in sport Shoo! back in the sport mode let's turn that power steering back up and uh yeet Getting a little close to that guy's mailbox, eh there, bud? Woo! A little good hand drag right there. Where's her socks at? Where'd you put them? Right there. You can grab them. I gotta hit this jump. This thing's too much fun to jump. It's gonna be real cool when we move the whole compound out to the new property and have all kinds of jumps and trails and ponds and swamps, creeks. I mean, it's gonna be a mecca, dude. When we move out there and get all stuff out there, it's gonna be so cool. I mean, talk about tracks, dude. We got like 20 acres of field we can build tracks in. Like, that is nuts. Let's watch her jump the recon. Put it in the comments. Should we surprise Bree 
with a 1000 four wheeler. I've had some ideas of foilers I wanted to test because buying this foiler, there is a lot of people saying some little things about how fast this one is. So uh, I want to buy some of the foilers they're talking about and really test them and then sell them. But uh, just for the testing for you guys, what is the fastest foiler on the market? I want to say this, but it needs a tune because this little bit of lag right there, it should have a little bit more instant ump. Once it gets going, it is crazy though. We gotta build some more jumps, so y'all ain't gotta watch me hit the same damn one a hundred times. When it scrubs, because you bottom out, you know you cleared it. We gotta build a new shooting range down at the new property too. There's so much stuff we gotta do down there. It's been crazy, man, because it's just like, we have been grinding and grinding and grinding. There's so much stuff always to do. Like this merch drop we just dropped, man. You guys sold us out in like 12 hours or something like that. And we had 500 extra shirts that we didn't even mean to buy. And right now we're running pre-sale. That means you guys can go ahead, go on the website, buy whatever. But it's gonna be like two weeks before we can ship it out because we have to call our printing company and have them make the shirts and then send the shirts to my house where we can package them and send them to your house but it's crazy like we started the channel there man at my parents house in the garage this house came up for sale and it was kind of like a well let's try it let's see what happens i ended up buying it you no know, the pool and everything just an epic cool backyard i mean so cool for a freaking 1920 year old at the time it got the five car garage i mean it's a little house don't get me wrong i think it's 1500 square foot i mean i know that ain't little but at the same time when you're running a business out of your house i really got a bedroom kitchen and half a living room any other room in there is office space so i got a one bedroom one bath and everything else is office and like we've rode here for so long over the years in the pond and the swamp there's a swamp back there that we kind of didn't have permission to be in but we were all the memories growing up pissing larry off back when he used to live here and now julius owned larry's house julius owns the property back there this little house garrett lives right there. i mean there's just so much going on it's gonna miss this place man so much history i mean it's absolutely absolutely crazy but you gotta think before i was out of high school i probably had 700,000 followers i mean i've been doing this since middle school and there's so many of you guys that have been here since the beginning it's just absolutely nuts and now we're like doing merchandise and everything out of my house bro it's just like surreal to me man i thought i'd never get to that point and here we are and it's absolutely crazy like the sign posters i did we sold double if not triple what we originally thought we would sell we had to go and buy more and sign more and we're actually about to have to go buy more and sign more again we have sold the fire out of them and it's just unbelievable that people are willing to buy a, a picture of me i mean it's a, it's a nice picture but it's still a picture of me and uh buy it because i signed it and whatnot that's just crazy man we're at julius i want to check on my turkeys look at that beard swinging dude what's up buddies what's up oh you're so cute you're so cute tommy come on give us a gobble yeah, that's my boy. Oh, he's flying down. Oh, I'm gonna have to go get them more corn. You got anything to eat, Tommy? Just been chilling out, bro? Oh, yeah. Hensley, doing good. I'm about to let them both free range. Let them run around out here. See ya, puppies. We freaking bought a kangaroo and had them in the horse stall in there. Like, it's just crazy. Where we have came, dude. Bought the green property. It's nuts. I just wanna say thank y'all. I'm always so busy trying to make content for you guys and do this and do that. It's like when I actually step back and look at what we've accomplished over the years and how great of a fan base you guys are. It's just like, dang, man. Absolutely wild. Uh-oh. Bree doesn't know how to put that bike in reverse. <laughs> Pulling the red lever with the brake. There you go. You're learning. Down. Yeah. Yeah, we might just have to buy Bria 1000, dude. She's been so much help recently with the BP Clips channel. I think the BP Clips channel is at 50,000 subscribers, and she still posts on it every day. 12 o'clock, she posts a short. 5 o'clock, she posts a video. I have that link in the description. Like I said, we're running merch till July 4th, so I have that link in the description as well. Me and Bree, we've been killing it with the merchandise and getting it packed and everything, and she has been absolutely grinding on the BP Clips channel. And I've been focusing a lot of my time on this channel and really the merch. It's the first time we've ever done this so there's a lot of problems we're running into but we're getting them fixed and getting them shipped out i think we've already shipped out over a thousand orders it's crazy man thank you to every single one of you it's funny i did see some hate comments and obviously i don't respond to hate at the end of the day if you're hating dude you need to find something better to do but there was one or two people complaining about how i kept posting about the merch he said i was begging people to buy it right but like dude i'm just like it's so cool being able to put my hands on a t-shirt pull your name off the label maker slap a label on it and send it to your house that is so cool it is so awesome man and also it's supporting the channel and helping us do 
videos with you know these nice machines i'd never be able to afford hardly any of this stuff if it wasn't for you guys i might be doing a merch giveaway with a four-wheeler giveaway mixed in between we might have to do that but i'm not talking about like a crappy four -wheeler. i'm talking like a sixteen thousand dollar four-wheeler something to uh give y'all a chance to win and oh man there's nowhere to put this thing yeah i'm sure it's looking dark on gopros because the sun's definitely below the trees i don't know we make a lot of content and i just wanted to come out here and ride i was like ah, let's just pull on the cameras and talk to you guys because it's rare i feel like to get to just talk to you guys nowadays we try to up the production to keep watch time up get more people to enjoy the videos but at the end of the day man i just wanted to come out here and ride so why not post it see is there somewhere to put this thing i might have to get in the pool i'm soaking wet oh that's a good idea i forgot we had that but uh if you guys would smash the thumbs up button like and subscribe thank you to everybody that supported me it is awesome get these garage doors locked up and we will catch y'all on the next one